Hey, what gives? Those people came in way after us and we're still here? Our appointment was at three and we were here 10 minutes early. At this point, it's better if we wait and see how things develop. She spent about 30 seconds with me and didn't hear a word I said. I want a different doctor. You were the ones that said I needed to come in for a follow-up. Why should I be on the hook for another copay? I don't want any more tests done. Are you kidding? I have to fill this out again? Have you ever heard of computers? If you work in healthcare, chances are you've heard people say some pretty interesting things. Sometimes odd things happen to ordinary people when they're under stress. Maybe they are in pain, or they aren't sleeping, or they believe that their loved one isn't being well cared for. Whatever the situation, if it is your job to help them or to care for them, you're bound to be on the receiving end of some awkward comments, some difficult requests. The truth is, there's not a lot you can do to stop it, but it's still part of your job to try to make things right. It's called customer service recovery. Patients and visitors are going to be who they want to be, and they're going to say what they want to say. The question is, when it happens to you, will you find the right words at the right time? Let's begin with some of the most common situations where a patient or a family member is frustrated by procedures or the quality of care. Come on, I gotta fill this out again? I just gave you all this information last week. Can I help you? We've been wandering around for the last 20 minutes. Those people at the front desk sent us on a wild goose chase. This place needs better signs mm -hmm. or smarter staff. Why do you people keep coming in here and poking me and waking me up? The doctor said I needed rest. Hey, what gives? Those people came in way after us and we're still here? Our appointment was at three and we were here 10 minutes early. Hopefully you don't hear comments like these every day, but when you do, the trick in responding to them is to realize that for the person saying them, they are a unique problem that concerns them greatly. Your actions at this time can either add to their problem or begin to turn their frustration into understanding. The words you use will change with every situation, but the signals you send to patients and visitors should remain consistent.